God is good. Prophesy. Say, you know God loves you. He's in the spirit. You know God loves you. Do you know that? Yeah. The Lord says it's your time now. You will not run away anymore. Now I'm going to use you. The Lord says the time has come. Do you know why you have lost everything? <laughs> God was trying to get your attention. You lost everything because the Lord was stripping you off to humble you so that when He lifts you up, nobody will receive the glory but Him. Another reason is because you had too many fake people around you. That is why now everybody that you used to know that you were calling friends, they are nowhere to be found. Because now when they saw you go down, they didn't want to be associated with you. You are here today having been backstabbed by people that you trusted. But now the Lord says, I want to lift you up again. And, I accept. and this time around, nobody is going to take the glory for what I'm doing in your life. Prophesy. This time you will see the restoration of God's power. And the Lord spoke to me. I'm even going to bless you again in business. This is where you are going to see my glory. Because the Lord said, I have blessed the works of your hands. Your power is in your hands. That's where the Lord is going to use you a lot. So you are going to see, before the end of this year, your life is going to turn around. Professor! Somebody shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! You will see what the Lord will do. You are... You, how can you explain that once upon a time you used to see millions all around you and now you don't even know how you are going to get even a thousand run from somewhere? How can you explain that to anybody? When you go to a person and say, I used to have millions, they won't believe you. Because when they look at your life, they're like, how? But here is a story here. Professor. And the Lord told me, I'm restoring you. Back there. But this time around, you are going to be doing my will. Definitely. This time around, you are going to be doing my will. You are going to see. Oh, guys, some of you, when we speak these things, you, you think it's like a... Professor, Baba. Oh, thank you, Jesus. There's a blessing that's coming. There's a blessing that's coming. And let me tell you something. You won't have to go abroad for this blessing. The Lord says it's going to happen right here. It's going to happen right here. In the next 30 days, there is a phone call that's going to come. I see a phone call of good news. First, these people are going to call saying, we've been looking for you, but we could not find you. But this time around, I see them reaching out to you. And I see this being the beginning of your restoration. Mark 30 days from now, you are going to see something massive come. Prophesy. And you will remember this word. Amen. Hallelujah. Touch your neighbor. Say, I declare the same blessing over you. I declare the same blessing over you. Prophesy, Baba. Thank you, Jesus. And the Lord spoke to me and he said, I must tell you that I'm going to use you to even touch the life of somebody by the name of John. I saw the Lord using you to touch John. And the Lord said, this will be the beginning of your ministry because the Lord will use you for deliverance power. You, you already saw yourself preaching, you. And the Lord said, now I'm going to make it happen. Hallelujah. Uh, we can close. It's time for good news. Papa. Papa. Huh? Papa, I'm here. Yes. Um, there's actually a testimony. I'm sorry to disturb you. Uh. There's actually a testimony. Last time I believe we were here in Lalusha, uh. you prophesied to this gentleman. Yes. And you said in exactly seven days, yes. he's going to receive a call 
and that call has to do with the contract. I want him to just quickly, and it actually happened to pass the way you said it, the way you spoke, and the way you declared it. Ah, uh, come, come, sir. How many people remember him? How are you? This is the only man, this one, and this one, that I allow to come to church in shorts. The only people. I'm joking. I prophesied to you last time. What happened? Share with the church. How much did we pay you, by the way? <laughs> nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very nervous. So, um, yeah, so you said that in exactly about 7 to 30 days, someone, I'm going to get a phone call, yes. receive a phone call of uh, a contract that's going to help me with business. Yes. It's going to help me grow my business. Yes. And it was within exactly seven days. I got a phone call and I landed a big contract with First Metro. The way you are celebrating Jesus, I don't understand. The way you are celebrating Jesus, I don't understand. Are you here? Are you here? Prophesy, Papa. I don't think... Listen. The prophecy was... And he said, exactly in seven days. Guys, there's no guesswork here. Yes. Are you understanding this? Jesus. Now, if this one came to pass, it tells you that every other prophecy is also going to come to pass. It has started. Huh? It has started. It has started already. I declare the same blessing for your life. I receive it. I declare the same blessing for your life. I receive it. Ah, you guys. Prophesy, Papa. Ah. Listen. What we declare, God will honor that word.